chicken breasts and overcook them. They are like wood. They dry out so quickly. Chicken thighs rarely, rarely, rarely do that. They are just so much more moist. So here's how you start off. When you buy them in the pan, they are loaded with uh, all of this fat on them, all the chicken fat and skin. Just try to trim a lot of that off before you even get started because this is just going to flare up uh, inside of the grill anyway. And there's still, you know, plenty on here for, you know, that delicious crispy chicken skin that you like. So this is about what you want to wind up with uh, before you put the rub on it. And for this first one, what I'm doing is a, a rub that I made earlier. It's paprika, chili powder. It's garlic powder, onion, salt, and pepper. And uh, I'm just gonna cover my thighs with <laughs> this carefully all over. This would go in a plastic bag. You're gonna put you know, several pieces, put it in a plastic bag and let it uh, marinate overnight. The second style of uh, chicken thigh that I'm doing here, this is gonna be a Greek style uh, chicken thigh. And here I've got olive oil, I've got paprika, oregano, parsley, got some uh, whole uh, garlic cloves, put about three garlic cloves in here. And you're gonna just, you know, put this on there. This is gonna go onto the chicken thigh and this in a plastic bag is gonna marinate at least two hours, but uh, the ones that I've got on the grill right now uh, have been on there uh, overnight. Finally, I've got a chicken teriyaki style. And in this one, I've got uh, some soy sauce, some ketchup, you can put honey. I like to use blue agave syrup better. I've got some garlic in here, some uh, fresh ginger that I've already cut up. That's gonna go in. Some nice green onions are gonna go in. This is all gonna get stirred up, applied onto the chicken, into the plastic bag, at least two hours of marinade or overnight is uh, just fine too. So, uh, you know, these are gonna stay in here and then they go on the grill, the skin side down for about four minutes on a low to medium heat. You just wanna get the grill marks on them. After about four minutes, you're gonna flip them over and then uh, you're gonna let it go for about seven to 10 minutes until it reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very important. I've got my internal thermometer here. Let me just show you. These have, these have been on the grill for a while. These are the barbecue chickens that I already put a little barbecue sauce on. And the internal temperature here, way above 165. It's about 180. If these were chicken breasts, they would be so dry, but because they're thighs, uh, they're gonna be a little bit better. Here's one that's 169, 170 degrees, also uh, pretty perfect. So these actually are ready to be served. Here comes your barbecue chicken thighs. Well, I'm serving these up on our very fancy paper platters so that we got. I'm just gonna remind you that you can get all the recipes, wgntv.com slash Dean Cooks. These are the Greek style. Look how nice that looks with the oregano and the parsley. Got some more Greek style ones over on this side. WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks. Let me get these raw chickens out of the way. And finally, these are the teriyaki style. Just a little bit sweet and that wonderful ginger flavoring on them as well. Uh, WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks, or our new thing that we're doing now is where we'll automatically send you the recipes every week. If you text the word cooks to 97999, you'll be on the list. You get the recipes every week, no problem. Grilled chicken uh, thighs, three different ways. Enjoy them and stay cool this weekend. Send it over to you guys.